I get the fun stuff today. I get to talk to you about two major consequences. Um, I want to point out we're successfully negotiating and closing many short sales, but I just didn't want you to assume there are no consequences to completing a short sale. The first um, consequence is the income tax issues, and the second we'll talk about are deficiency judgments. And I think these two issues come up with most homeowners wanting to know how they'll be affected. First, we'll talk about the income tax issues. And there is a Mortgage Forgiveness Act that was passed in December of 2007. And prior to this law being passed, any time you had debt forgiveness, you had what was called phantom income. Phantom income just means that the debt was forgiven makes in its taxable income even though you receive no cash to pay your tax with. The, the tax law that was enacted in December 7th, I'm, I'm sorry, in December of 2007, um, will be effective through transactions through 2010. It actually is through January 1st, 2011. And I just want to explain that I'll keep this very simple, but the key issue here is to benefit from this law. The debt must have been used or purchased used to purchase or improve your principal residence. And principal residence is a pretty easy concept. I think even people who have multiple homes know what their principal residence is. You can benefit if you have forgiven up to $2 million in debt. And this law sets forth rules. It, it lets you know what is taxable, what is not taxable, and it talks about insolvent taxpayers because if you're insolvent many times you will not have to pay any tax consequences for forgiveness of debt. The next point here is that it does not apply for second mortgages or home equity loans. Um, only it can apply for second mortgages or home equity loans if you use that money to improve your property. But if you use that money for anything such as a vacation, a wedding, um, a vehicle, an RV, a boat, any of those items you spent the money for will not be able to be excluded from income tax. And pointing out the investment properties in second homes are not eligible. So again, it's a pretty simple concept. It's just if you had debt that you got to purchase or improve your principal residence, odds are it will be forgiven. Now, I want to make it clear, the lender is going to send a 1099, or at least the lender should be sending a 1099 to you, showing that you have income if they have forgiven any debt. There's a special IRS form that you will report the income on, but you will also show why it is not taxable, and then there will be no tax consequences on your income tax return. But again, if it's a second mortgage or a um, home equity loan, you could have some issues and you'll probably need to ask your tax advisor. The next issue is the deficiency judgment. And there are three basic outcomes regarding deficiency judgment, and Cindy touched on them. One outcome will be your letter will say that you were paid in full. And hopefully they will not be coming after you for a deficiency judgment if they are reporting it paid in full. The next option is that the lender actually requests you sign a note at the closing. So if they believe you have the ability to pay, they can possibly ask you to find to sign a note admitting that you will pay that at closing. We have not been seeing that, but that is something the lender could do. And the third, the third consequence or the third um, option or outcome might be like Bank of America's um, letter that we show, had shown on the screen. They may pursue a deficiency judgment unless prohibited by law. And I think a lot of lenders are adding that language to their letters to protect themselves if they do want to um, file a deficiency judgment later. So even with these two consequences of income tax possibility and a deficiency judgment possibility, I'd just like to point out that this is still a far better outcome than a foreclosure. So at this time, I would like to turn um, the program back over to Dottie because we have had some very successful short sale situations, and I'd like Dottie to share that with you. Thank you, Sherry. Um, some of these stories are very heartwarming, and uh, it's a, it's a feel-good uh, when it's over with for everybody. And this is one of those stories where I had met 
uh, some friends of mine in the local grocery store. Um, and of course, the conversation always comes around to re 